Climate change is a significant and lasting adjustment in arithmetic distribution of weather patterns ranging from decades to millions of years. The continuous landslides occurring on slopes of mountain Elgon and floods, drought, desertification and disasters in other parts of Uganda and elsewhere are due to the impact of climate change. Can this situation be blamed on poor environmental management by different actors? People have cut down all the trees, so when it rains, the soil which is attached to the rock, because there are no roots holding them together, they become too heavy, they just slide down the hill, killing thousands and hundreds of people, including children. Apart from the physical devastating tragedy it has caused on the population, Crop production has suffered heavy blow. The number of meals farmers are having have reduced. If you compare to what they used to have, uh, more than 50% of farmers used to have at least two meals. But right now, uh, less, than, less than 50 have less than two meals. So there is a food deficit. Scientists and researchers are seeking solutions to the challenges of climate change. They are thinking of building a community response to climate change adaptation in agriculture. Practices like uh, staggered planting, early maturing crops, uh, drought tolerant crops, water harvesting, mulching. These are uh, practices that are going to make a difference in people's lives. Um, supplementary irrigation, harvesting of rainwater. Because right now, uh, farmers are only using 18% of rainwater in production. So if we just uh, work together as stakeholders to make sure that farmers are using 50%, it is going to make a great deal of change in, in terms of how farmers are going to live a better life. The project is supported by System for Analysis, Research and Training, START, and National Foundation of Science of America through Makerere University. Findings from a study by a team drawn from Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania indicates that farmers in East Africa will continue to suffer from the impact of climate change. Where we are going to is even worse. So what we are going to see is that the frequency of drought for the dry land areas is going to be high. And of course, for the high rainfall areas, we are going to have a lot of runoff, a lot of flooding, and this has got consequences. The fact-finding study was carried out in selected areas around River Kagera Basin in the upper catchment of Lake Victoria. Climate change campaigners appealed for a concerted effort by local community, government, and development agencies on issues of climate change to ensure food security. For as a country, we have to also get on our, our toes together with the international community to see how we are addressing it. Government has finalized the formulation of a policy to guide the response to climate change. So the policy is really to address the issues that we are facing as a country at our level of development, as, a, as local governments, as uh, households, communities, so we, we really needed this policy. It is aimed at outlining the responsibility of each stakeholder in adapting and mitigating the effect of climate change. We have now upgraded the meteorology department and it has become an authority. The purpose of that is to ensure that you have an institution mandated to gather accurate information accurate forecasts, timely information, so that government as well as individuals can take decisions, timely decision given accurate information and information given in time. Current data proposes that the greenhouse gas emissions in developed countries be reduced by at least 80% by 2050 in order to have a chance of staying below an average temperature rise of over 2 degrees centigrade. Fredericks, idea. You will be seeing news.